Well, get ready for a computer that costs about the same as your sandwich at lunchtime and is about the size of the credit card you might use to buy that sandwich at, li at lunchtime. So joining us now to talk about Chip is Mark Spoonauer, Editor-in-Chief at Tom's Guide. Mark, great to speak with you this morning. You too. What exactly is Chip and how does this cost $9? <laughs> well, the first part is easy to answer. It is a basically a micro PC that is about the quarter the size of a banana, but it packs a one gigahertz processor and you have four gigs of storage. So it's surprisingly potent given its size. It's not gonna be your primary PC, but it's great for tinkerers, for grandparents, and also kids who wanna learn how to code. Certainly, and, and they're saying this might be a good device in terms of playing around with wearables and you could even plug it in, you could play video games with this thing. So Chip started a Kickstarter campaign last week, uh, yep. blew past its funding goals. I believe it was $50,000 was its funding goals. Let's talk about that and why sure. there's so much interest. Yeah, well, I, they've already blown past that. They're at 650,000 as of this morning. I expect it to go much higher. And there's all these different tiers where you can not only get this uh, chip PC, but they're gonna be selling a handheld too. So you'll be able to plug it into a color screen device and it's not as advanced as your smartphone, but this is about bringing computing to the masses, and I think that's why there's so much buzz around it. Yeah, and so based on price, what are your thoughts on pocket chip? Now this is, uh, I guess, the um, the case that can make this sort of uh, a mini, gives you a keyboard and, and kind of makes it the size of a Game Boy. Do you think that's gonna be a success? Yeah, well think about it as like sort of the cross between a Blackberry and a Game Boy, and it's, you know, the display is only 4.3 inches. We're used to much bigger now, and it's resistive as opposed to capacitive, so you might have to use maybe the tip of a, an eraser or uh, some other instrument to operate the display. But in terms of what the computing power that you're getting for the money, you can use the Chromium browser, you could use it for word processing. So it's basically the, the chip on a smaller display, so I think that's gonna generate a lot of excitement, especially with the early adopter crowd. And do you think we're going to see more of these types of microcomputers? I mean, we had Raspberry Pi, now we have chip raising money. Do you think that this is the start of something larger? I think so. And I think Microsoft should probably be nervous because they don't want the next billion people being connected to Linux. <laughs> they hmm. want people on, on Windows 10. And so I, I think people are going to be pleasantly surprised with what these little devices can do. And with Raspberry Pi, the chip has an advantage over them because it has both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built in. So you could use it with a wireless gaming controller, for example. Mark Spoonauer, great to speak with you this morning. Thank you right. for watching. I'm Morgan Brennan. Have a great day. Hey, YouTube fans. I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.